Well, what a lot of chocolate we are going to have on today's show. But before we start, I just wanted to say something. Hmm. Do you know what happens when you take off your cacks? Is that a trick question? Well, if you take off your cacks, you're most likely to plop non-stop. <laughs> Let's start the show! I didn't know what you were going with that. <laughs> well, cax is basically what you call your knickers in the UK. Well, I didn't know that. No, like I thought that you were saying that this was looking like. Oh uh, no, I thought you thought it looked like underwear. No, I thought that you were going to say that this looked like Kit Kat or something. Well, it feels like a Kit Kat, and but so it it's, feels kind of wafery. Yeah. Well, a Kit Kat is a wafer. One thing I would say, and, oh, and we haven't even told you yet we are having a bit of uh, a chocolate haul today from oh our trip gosh. to sweden and in sweden they like to call well the swedish word for chocolate is chocolate so we saw a lot of chocolates over in sweden didn't we paul yeah we did and when i looked at the back of each of these do you remember what we said like i think they're not all from sweden this one is from malmo what one is that? This one is... That's called Center. Center, and this is mm. by... What does it make? Cloetta. It is uh, Cloetta. So there... Yeah. There was so a Cloetta shop, you said. I didn't even There was a Cloetta it. shop on that main street in Malmo. Oh, right. Um, I remember me filming it. <laughs> well, maybe we'll find the clip. Yeah. And yeah, so I bought this center bar because I'd seen it a few times and I thought I just want to see what it's like. It says it's a milk chocolate creamy toffee filling bar. I and quite like that. And these ones were... On a special deal. Like at the station. Yes, at the railway station. Three for 28, I think. 28 um, crowns. Is that what it was? I can't even work out how much of that was. Which is like about three something in pounds. So the Kex actually does say made in Sweden. And the plop, I'm not sure where that was from. <laughs> Didn't we? Although I don't know where it's that. going. So, no, and isn't this one from now? Tupla Maxi, I don't even know what that is. And oh, non stop, oh, that is a bit like a Smarty, I think. But instead of looking at them all, Paul, we need to open them up because I haven't had my chocolate fix or my chocolate fix today. So which one should we start off with? I think we should have the cax first. Shall we kick off with cax? Right, this could get a little bit crumbly, a little bit messy. What way should I go this side, I think? No. No? See? You yeah, don't trust maybe. me to open it. Like, I don't, I don't know. Well, maybe, you need to open it from one side. Where we just go like this? Oh, you should open it from the other side. Why? That's why I specifically pushed it further Jesus. down, you see. Yeah. So there would be more grip. To there actually grip. Open it. There's a little bit of grip. I didn't do anything. So I could just rip it open, but I don't... Re oh, that's what's happening. Okay, look at this. Take it all out. Mmm. It's going to break in half. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it is a wafer, and it's like there's four pieces in here, so that's one each for us at the minute, and a couple of, oh, it's oh, gone Jesus. everywhere now. Here, you can have the bigger bit, Paul. Why don't you just eat the whole thing? Because it's supposed to break in half. Here, mm -hmm. have this bit. I don't we want to save the rest. We've got a lot of chocolate to get through tonight. Mmm. Just like a Kit Kat. It does taste like a Kit Kat. Mm, it's like a Kit Kat with a kick. <laughs> it's called Kex. Mmm. You know what it's more like? What are those wafer bars that you get at Costa? The wafers? Those ones that you pay like two pounds for something that's not really worth it. The chocolate tastes a bit weird. Mmm. Doesn't it? Like it tastes... No, that's what I'm saying. It's like those ones you get. Get at Costa. The a chocolate that they make over there it doesn't take like the ones that we have over here. No, well, uh, well, you can't really get the, the type of chocolate that you get in the UK. You can't really get anywhere else. No, it's, not even in Ireland because the Cadbury's. I don't even um, know how to put my finger on it. Like it tastes. Oh, I know. It's but it's, it's all sticky. I'll 
<laughs> Should I eat this bit? This is mine. No. Mm. no. You can have it anyway. Mm. All right. I think I need to wash my yes. fingers. So we'll keep the rest dirty, of that. Dirty, dirty So Kex is a little bit like Kit Kat, but doesn't taste as good, I think. And I think it's, um, I think that it's rather... How do we say it? Like, it's... Wavery? No, it tastes like chocolate, but... But not quite. There's like something missing. Like, I don't mm. think it tastes as rich, that one. Ah, well you see, that is the I thing. Don't, I don't think that it does. Well, there's a lot of controversy over British chocolate, isn't really? there? Because it's... Because of the sugar content or uh, Well, I'm not quite sure what it is. The um, milk? Maybe put it in the comments if you know what the controversy is. No. Should I pick now? What should we do next? Plop. I think we should leave plop for last. Okay. <laughs> just, just in case we have the plop. Center. Yes, let's center ourselves. Because this is milk chocolate with mm. a creamy toffee filling. Ah, uh, mm. don't do your filling. <laughs> um, mm, well, yes. And this is from Sweden, well it says it's a Malmo as well as DK which is Denmark. Okay. And also, well it's from everywhere. It's Scandinavian then really. Yeah. Yes, it's from the center of Scandinavia. Now this center also came in a tube where you could get so this individual is what it looks ones. like? I thought that they were a bit like a Rolo or something. And then I thought, well you know what, I might not like it. So I decided to get the bar type one instead because it was cheaper. Yes, I'm a cheap skid. All right, let's try it. Mm. It's all right. But I'm not that hooked on it. I'm glad I didn't get the tube. What do you think? Mm. Oh, it's got a really weird aftertaste as well. I'm not sure about that at all. I like this one actually. <laughs> oh, you can finish it then. No, like, mm, it tastes like some of those Cadbury ones, like the ones that have the centers in it. Yeah, the only thing is there's something a bit gritty about the caramel. The no, like caramel. there's like, there's like this, there, there is a bit of an aftertaste to it. Yeah, I can't really put my finger on it, but it's called center. Oh gosh. Moving swiftly on, I think, to the next one, Paul. Shall we do Tupla next? I've got no idea of what this is. Way furry, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It looks it, like it. It might actually be a new guy. Should we see? It says it's got it says Finland on the back, and there's no clue as to what it might be. Surprise chocolate bar, anyone? Well, I suppose the clue is is that it actually says the description in. I don't know, Finnish or Swedish or something, but there's no English on it. Uh, right. Oh, it's got almonds in it. Right, okay, so, so it might be a nutty. bit nutty. Tupla. Oh, the yeah. right. to look open. This one is in a little sort of... Tray. Yeah, I think it's nougat, to take be it, honest. Take yeah, that. look, look at this. Look at this, this is... Is it going to stick to your teeth? This is nougat. Mm. I have to be very careful to this. There are little bits of almond throughout it. Tiny speckly bits. So, like so, this is like a rocky road. Or it can What, you mean that tray big? No, like, um... It's rocky road like a bar in the US. I think so. Well, you discuss that, I need to wash my fingers again. I could have gotten it all wrong, and I probably did. But it tastes like one of those um, chewy nougat type mm. of thing. Um, I do like nougat. I do quite like this. The only trouble is, is that with my teeth and my fillings, I have to be very careful, so I can't really eat toffees anymore. I love them so much. Well, moderation. Well, we've been going non-stop from chocolate, so I think we'll uh, open this one. It says open here. 
Didn't we get two bags of these? Yeah, you didn't realize that you'd already bought one. No, because there was one. one that's a non-stop and then there was one that's a never stop or something. And you bought the other? No, no they both say non-stop, the one no, that we got. No, there was one that's a non-stop and then the other one says something different. Maybe it was a limited edition. No, this one is so. made by Marabo. And it says, mmm, Sedan, 1916. Is so it from it must have been Sweden or is it somewhere else? It's from oh. Mondelez International. So that is, now do they still own Cabri or not? Is it Kraft now? I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, I it's don't got remember. Mondelez, Suebs, Suebe, mm. Swe Sweden, Denmark, and Finland. So it is from all three, really. Um, mm. And it looks like a Smarty to me. So, would you like some, Paul? Every smarty yeah, too much. has an answer. Okay. Oh. Isn't this too much? Yeah, it might be. Now, they have similar colours to Smarties, but there's black ones in there too. It kind of looks like M&M's. Ah, yes, M&M's as well. Um, the colours are a little bit sort of faded, if you ask me. Let's see. It's not as sweet as an M&M. Mm. It's, it's not as sweet. Oh! The outside's got different flavours. Oh my god. Mm. It's lovely. Woo. I wasn't expecting that. The, mm. This one tastes like berry. Because yeah. it's red. The lemon, oh sorry, the yellow one's like a bit of lemon, I think. I put different ones in my mouth at the same time. Let's take one another one of your green ones. It doesn't taste like lemon. Yeah, it does. Mm. Does the green taste like lime or does it taste like apple? I don't know. The, I put three different ones in mm. my mouth the first time and got a whole contrast of different apple? Pretty colors. The green? The brown does one. Does the apple taste the green? I've got the green one now. The brown one, I'm not sure what that is. Chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. The green one. Mmm. Does the black one taste of licorice? I think the green one is apple. And the orange one. I think that the black one tastes like... Orange. Like, the black mm. one tastes like licorice, maybe? Gosh, that was Does a it not? Surprise. Does it not? Well, I don't have a black. Well, I think I might have had a black one uh, with two others to start with. So there's a whole contrast. Could you pick me out another two black ones, please, Paul? The trouble is, if I pour a whole load of them out, you need to pour it back in. There's two black ones there. Let's see, you think this is licorice? It tastes like that. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Write in the comments, please, because I do want to know. I think I've just had too much chocolate now, and I can't taste anything but chocolate. I think we need to put it back. Mm. Put those back in. No. I had too much sugar. Yeah, but we still haven't had our plop. So, <laughs> well, we get ready to have our plop. Take a look at this. We just came out of ABBA, the museum, and I think I got caught up in Eurovision, and I did buy this um, t-shirt, and it says, Wow, 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 Waterloo. And it is um, a tribute to the group ABBA because I think that they marked their 50th anniversary of winning the Eurovision. And now uh, it is, there is a, a museum inside and then you can also put your head in here, but I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> it looks like it's time to subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. No, Paul, would you like to open the plop? No. No? Oh my god. Like, I think I all this sugar is like getting to me. Mm. No. 
There we are, it's a chocolate bar. Do we have an indication of whether it's just pure chocolate? It's got caramel in it. And you take a bit there because I can see Caramel. Yeah. It's it shows it on the on the wrapper. And it looks as though I've only got a mini bit. Ooh, it's, oh, it's, it's like leaking out. So mm -hmm. this kind of reminds me of the Cadbury ones that have the center in it. Yeah, but the caramel has got a weird kind of... Maybe that's what it's maybe. It's too sweet. I don't think I like it. It's got... It's turning into a really weird consistency. Yeah. No. I think I will have to pull up after this. Mm. Oh gosh, no. Um, if you'd like this chocolate bar, well, I'm sorry, we've probably <laughs> eaten it by the time no. this episode goes so on. So I would say this is the one that I liked the least. Me too. No, I didn't like So it. this is bad for me. Mm. Um, I liked this one. The new the one. I liked it too. The only thing is, is that it's a bit too chewy for me. No, but I... No, I I think it was the combination of either that or the center. The center was a little bit like the plop, although the center was a bit better. No, this one was better. So the I, center was better. Yes, the center was so better. I would say maybe Tupelo was my favorite, and then the Cax was absolutely fine. It was just like a, a low grade Kit Kat. But my favorite was the non stop because of that surprise I got with the fruity um, sugar coating. Um, so I would say this would be my favorite, and then this, and no then, one can see what you're doing there. Do you? So maybe Tupla Center. Um, which is your favorite? The Tupla, yeah. Oh, right, okay, I yeah. Think I did like this for some reason because I haven't had the nougat type of chewiness mm. in chocolate for, for ages. Um, but yeah, so this has been rather interesting to discover all these different types of sweets in Scandinavia and in particular um, Sweden. Now if you're feeling particularly sweet you might like to leave a comment, a thumbs up or even subscribe because we are trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year. Isn't that right Paul? Yes, so that will help us along our journey to bigger and better things and with that we could also deliver much better content for you. So it just starts with a subscribe. So for those It doesn't cost you, anything. Absolutely not. No. So for those of you that haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. It's free, just like we said. And don't forget about the coffee. Well, yes, if you are feeling especially generous, then you might like to buy us a coffee to help us wash down all this chocolate with, but it would help us along the way because a lot of our episodes we go out and about and we have to eat and have a coffee to keep us going while we're there. And I think this also contributes to the algorithm, which yes. also helps boost our rating and our standing with That's right. YouTube. Because the more subscribers that we get, the more comments that you leave, the and more likes. the more likes that you give, then the more people will get to see our episodes and it means that we can create better content as For we you. go along, yes. But until next time, I don't know when we're going to finish this chocolate, or chocolate, but we'll say bye for now. Bye! Bye! -bye.